Okay, I'm going to show you how to create what's called a Wiggle 3D animated GIF in Photoshop. So I've taken two very similar but different pictures. The pictures are lined up the same eye level, but I just moved the camera a few inches from the left to the right for the two different pictures. So the first thing I'm going to do is to uh, move one picture onto the other so I have two layers of the similar image. So I'll do that, and we're done with this one, so I'll close that. Um, so as you can see in here, I have two different images, that one and that one. They're not lined up perfectly. This isn't the best, uh, the best image to use for this, but it'll work. So this top layer, I'm going to align the eyes perfectly. So I'm going to lower the opacity on this top layer a little bit and use my Move tool so I can kind of get uh, me as, as pretty much aligned as possible. So you can see that there's a slight difference between the two pictures, but my face is lined up between the two. So I'm going to need to open uh, my animation window in Photoshop. So if I go Window, Animation, it'll open this up here. And I want to be in this view. Um, not the timeline view, but the frame view, I believe, what it's called. Um, and then if I go down here and click Duplicate Selected Frames, you'll see I have two frames in here now. So these frames show whatever is visible up here. So I'm going to go back here and move my quality to 100%, I mean the opacity to 100%. And then in this frame, I want to turn that one off. So you'll see here, I have that frame and then that frame. Down here it says 10 seconds. That's the time each frame is going to play. I want to lower that by quite a bit. I'm going to go 0.1 seconds on that. And 0.1 seconds. And then there's a little uh, play icon here. I can play that animated GIF. Oh, um, see here it says loop. I want that to loop forever. So click forever. Hit play. And it wiggles back and forth. Kind of bizarre looking. Um, it's not, not perfect, but it achieves the effect to some extent. A couple things we can do still. Between these two frames, I click on that first, key, first frame, and I can tween between the two. So I'm just going to click that and add one frame. Well, we'll, we'll try two frames. Tween with the next frame, okay. And you'll see what it does here is actually tween between those two frames. So now when I play it, it's a little, uh, that might be a little too much. I don't like that. So I'm going to undo that. And I'm just going to tween, I'm going to add one frame. Add one frame. Okay. And play that, see how it looks. Yeah, that's a, more the effect that I want to achieve. Um, and I want to do a tween between this last frame back to the beginning frame. Um, so click on that, tween, add one frame. I want to tween that with the first frame. Click OK. And then play it. And it kind of has this bizarre wiggle 3D effect. Um, again, it's not perfect. I would have uh, played around with taking different and better pictures and see if the effect is a little uh, more pronounced, but good enough for, uh, for an illustration. Um, and you can also see here the background is offset so much. I'm going to just crop it so we don't really see. Oops, sorry. So we don't see it going off the frame. So I'll click return. Play. And there we have it. So that's it. Um, and then you want to save this for the web. Save for web and devices, save it as a GIF. Uh, put it in your DP folder. And 
post it as a reply to my post in my blog for the Wiggle 3D project. And that's it.